So here's a web audio file on your so-called gamer take on the moon job too. First of all, price. It costs 20 bucks sitting right between Quox and SSR. However, for me personally, to basically mix Quox and SSR relevant in my casual listening experience, aka just gaming and listening to various subjects on YouTube, I can play Apex Legends on Shu all day long because of the more mature sound characteristic of it. The combination of imaging, sound stage, and positioning is uniform, good and balanced enough so that you can get enough info on the field and react upon. And I don't find myself being disturbed by neither scratchy gunshot or overgrow blow me sound effect which is really important in a FPS game. Second of all, build and comfort. The build is solid with cold metallic housing, comfort rise, here's a comparison of sizes of different IEMs that I own. Q is comparatively small I would say. While I have no comfort issues wearing them, I have still issues on the spring tips. For some reason, I cannot get a proper seal with those tips. So I changed my ear tips to those from Eco OH10. Your experience may vary though. Now it comes to sound, my take would be easy. Chu will be one of my picks for gaming or just an easy listening section from now on. Not Quarks, not SSL, not even Cardo. The reason is simple, because the sound of Chu is basically better than what I would expect from a pair of earphones with such a small form factor. I used to have a pair of IE300, but I can never play any kind of FPS game on it, no kidding. Now I may switch between True Blombia 3 and Blessing to Dogs for normal gaming and listening. To conclude, for 20 bucks, I really have no complaint at all, and it will stay in my box for quite a long time. Until something with better overall package comes out, I guess. This shall conclude my video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, a like or comment will be much appreciated for the algorithm thingy. And see you in next video.